What is up guys, Ghost here, and today we're not doing a gaming video, I'm actually doing a little tutorial on a piece of software called Synergy. Um, this piece of software will allow you to share your mouse and keyboard between multiple computers. So uh, I'm going to show you my setup a little bit here, just so I can attempt to show you guys how this works. So down here I have my gaming PC, okay, and that is connected to the central monitor here. Then I have a keyboard and mouse that is also connected to there. Now on the bottom left side, I actually have my streaming PC and those two monitors to the left and the right of the gaming monitor are connected to that secondary computer. So what I'm actually able to do with this piece of software is use the same keyboard and mouse on both of the computers, in fact on all three screens, which makes things far more easier when you're editing. So you can see here as I'm sort of scrolling off of my gaming PC, the mouse seamlessly transitions over to my streaming PC's monitors and I'm able to use it there, the keyboard as well, everything is completely seamless, there is no lag, in fact it feels just like you have a physical connection to that computer and it doesn't feel at all like it's running over the network. So Synergy, okay, first of all you're going to search for that, and uh, it's the top link here, so Synergy mouse and the keyboard sharing software. Now this program does cost $10, you can get the basic version or the pro version, the only things the basic version doesn't have is SSL encryption and extra support. I have the basic version and it works flawlessly, I haven't had a single issue with it, so... For me, at least, I see no reason to bother going with a pro version. Now, you might say, why bother paying for a piece of software when you can get something for free? Well, I did double around at first with actual a hardware KVM, which is supposed to share your keyboard, mouse, and your monitor between PCs. The one I got, or the one that was available to me in Iceland, was rubbish, so I ended up taking it back to the shop. I then ended up looking at software solutions, uh, run a program called share mouse and that just had a ton of issues uh, the mouse was laggy it was it was laggy uh, sort of a transition between monitors so when you go off this monitor onto the other one that was lagging and it just really wasn't a nice comfortable experience and then I tried out synergy forked out a ten dollars and believe me if this is something that you're looking for as a solution you will not be disappointed so Synergy, you're going to go ahead and pay for that and download it, and of course, you will then have it uh, for life. You won't need to uh, bother paying any more. It's, it's a lifetime guarantee. You'll get all of the new versions and that. You can see here it says your version of Synergy is out of date. Version 1.7.5 is now available. You probably want to go ahead and get that. For me, it's been working flawlessly, so I'm sort of a if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of guy, so I haven't bothered to update. So when it comes to setting this thing up, you're going to need to install it on both the computer that has the keyboard and mouse, so for me that's this one, and also on the computers that you're going to be connecting to. So this is basically going to be the server, and the other computers you're going to be sharing your mouse and keyboard with will be clients. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on server here. I do believe actually you have a wizard. You can run the wizard if you want, and that will help you out a little bit, but it's pretty straightforward once you've uh, got the know-how. You want to click on server and set up the PC that has the mouse and keyboard connected to it as the server. Now it will display your IP address here. Just for safety, I've actually blacked mine out so that you guys can't actually see that, but uh, yeah, it will see your IP address there, and that's something you're going to need to know later on. Then you want to come down here and click configure server. Okay, so what would probably happen, Rick Gaming, this is my gaming rig and this is my streaming rig. You'll probably just have one of these here. Now, if you want to add a new one, what you're going to do is grab the monitor down there and you're going to drag it into one of these boxes. As you can see, you can actually have a great number of different systems connected to this one. I only have two, so, you know, I only have two monitors as such. Once you've done that, you want to double click it and you're going to name it something. Obviously, I don't need this one, so I'm going to throw it in the trash can. But you have to make sure that when you name it, you name it these with the same name that your other system has on the network because that's how it's going to be connecting to the, other, to the other computer over the network. So make sure it has the exact same name it does. You can see it uh, within Synergy. So it should say, it will say down here, the screen name Rick Gaming for this one. And as you run Synergy on your other computer, you know, for me, it says Rick Stream. So if that's the same, it should work flawlessly. Now, when it comes to setting up 
the client that's going to connect to this, obviously instead of having it ticked as server, you're gonna tick it as the client. And the server IP is of course going to be the IP address that you see up here. So you wanna go ahead on your client, on the other computer and bang that information in there, click apply on both this computer and whatever computer or laptop or whatever you're gonna to connect to it, click apply and um, it will be on stop. And then you wanna click start. And hopefully if everything is set up correctly, you should see this client, Rickstream has connected, or obviously this will be whatever your uh, your system is called. Now, I don't think I'm forgetting much. Let's take a look in the settings here. Oh, this is important. The port number here, this is the default one. It works fine for me, but it has to be the same on both the server and the client versions of the program. So if you change this on one computer, it won't connect properly as far as I know. So just make sure you don't really, you know, mess around with... Uh, any of that stuff. So yeah guys, that's about it. It's pretty easy to set up for multiple computers. And as I say, not everybody has two computers, but you may have a laptop lying around or some other screen or device that isn't connected to your main desktop that you wanna use for this. And to be honest, this piece of software has just served me so well and I was so incredibly happy when I found this that I just had to make a little tutorial on this just to hopefully um, help other people discover this as I did because I spent hours and hours searching around for a solution. Uh, one thing you may want to do is actually have it start on boot up. Now it says here on their little FAQ that on Windows this currently cannot be done and uh, that's not really true. All you need to do is go into the, uh, the startup folder here and uh, open that up and basically you can just go ahead and take a shortcut of the EXE of Synergy. So if you put the shortcut of the EXE in there, it should start up when Windows starts. I don't know why it wasn't in there when I opened the folder then. It does start up for me on boot up on both computers. So I don't even think about it. That's the great thing about this program. You can just exit away there. It won't even be in your task manager. It's just running in the background. Like If I want to open it, I don't go to task manager. I'll uh, just go up here, click on Synergy and open it up and exit away. So it comes on startup and you literally do not even have to think about it. So for me, for editing videos, it's really, really handy. I can just drag the mouse, drag windows off the side of the screen. You can even copy and paste things. So if I want to um, copy and paste a URL from Chrome from this computer, I can copy it, go over to the secondary computer and then paste it into that Chrome instead of having to actually type the thing out or search for it. It just makes life a hell of a lot easier. Anyway guys, if you have any questions or trouble setting this up, just drop them down below. I'll try and help you as much as I can. I'm no, you know, PC whiz, but hopefully I'll be able to help you guys get it up and running. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good Christmas and I'll see you guys next time.